advice. And it's actually I kind can, of narrow because well, I have one minute left. And and I I would like to refer back to your um, question about the the comment about those. I'm who sure are you would. I want change. I want to ask particularly. Is there a line for you on state flexibility? You are the backstop for students and their right to access a quality education. Would you, in this case, say, we are going to overrule and you cannot discriminate, whether it be on sexual orientation, race, special needs, in our voucher programs? Will that be a guarantee from you for our students? For states who have programs that allow for parents to make choices, they set up the rules around that. So that's a and note. That, Do you see is, any circumstance where the Federal Department of Education under your leadership would say that a school was not qualified? What if they said, we are not accepting African American students, but that was okay with the state? Does the state trump? Do you see any situation where you would step in? Well, again, I think the the uh, Office of Civil Rights and our Title IX protections are broadly ap applicable across the board. But when it comes to parents making choices on behalf this of their students... This isn't about parents making choices. This is about use of federal dollars. Is there any situation... Would you say to Indiana that school cannot discriminate against LGBT students if you want to receive federal dollars? Or would you say the state has the flexibility in this situation? I believe states yes or no. continue to have flexibility in so, putting together so programs. Just so if I understand your testimony, I want to make sure I get this right. There is no situation of discrimination or exclusion that if a state approved it for its voucher program, that you would step in and say, that's not how we're going to use our federal dollars. There's no situation if the state approved it that you would put the state flexibility over our students. Is that your testimony? I think, I think a hypothetical in this case. It's is not a hypothetical. This is a real school applying lady, for that receives lady's dollars. time has expired, but I'm going to allow the secretary to answer. I go back to the... The bottom line is we believe that parents are the best equipped to make choices for their children's schooling and education decisions, and too many children today are trapped in schools that don't work for them. We have to do something different. We have to do something different than continuing a top-down, one-size-fits-all approach, and that is the focus, and states and local communities are best equipped to make these decisions and framework on behalf of their... their I, I am shocked that you cannot come up with one example of discrimination that you would stand up for students. I'm required to answer. We'll go now to the gentleman from Idaho, Mr. Simpson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm sorry I had to step out.